Match review. If you guys don't know what match review is, basically it's where you guys submit your matches to my subreddit, reddit.com slash r slash wrestle, and I review them. It can be any kind of match, wrestling, jujitsu, or MMA. I'll critique the wrestling aspect of it as best as I can. If there's things for me to critique as far as jujitsu or stand up, I will, but I'm not the best at those, so don't count on it. But I can help you like not get taken down and stuff. Actually, today's video is not from a normal subscriber. It's from a fellow YouTuber. His name is Sam Pack. He makes really high quality vlogs. You guys should check them out. They're about like his wrestling tournaments and stuff, and they're pretty cool. He sent me his wrestling match, and like it's pretty good. So we're just gonna jump right into this, you guys. I do this for free every week. So if you guys want to show your support, if you guys want to help my channel grow, then you can support me down at patreoncom Russell. But just jumping right into this. Start off tying your shoe. You look like you're in a good stance. Ready? First on the line. Nice and low. You back straight. Boom. Money. Money. Right off the whistle, you hit a nasty, nasty duck. I don't know if you guys remember, but I made a video about that duck. Like that was one of the first or second thing that I show. And I'm happy it worked for you. Uh, I don't know if I showed it to you, but it's definitely like a really good tool to put in your arsenal. But what happened was you hit the duck, you got the two, and he stood right up. From what I can see in the video, it looks like you're trying to use your weight to keep him down. You're trying to use all of your weight to like keep him on the mat. And the problem with that is since you're wrestling high school boys and they're your weight and they practice with people your weight, they will be able to just stand up like you, all of your weight is not enough to keep them on the mat you need to get your hips high your feet in the mat and you push them down into the mat i personally would have gone duck into a spiral ride to try and flatten them out while pressing them into the mat your duck was executed perfectly but you just didn't do the right things to keep them down you can fix that and drill that okay so you get right back out wrap your head boom right here Cardinal sin. The reason why it didn't work the second time is because no setup will work the second time. Each setup that you know should be used like a bullet. You use it once, you make it count, but you only use it once because this is what happens. You get put in positions like where you're forced to defend, then your opponent will know exactly what you're planning on doing before you do it and you can get defended very easily. From you hitting that duck, he very easily could have anticipated that and turned that into a pancake and you would have ended up on your back. So remember, every single setup that you know is used once in a match. You get one chance to use it. You get the element of surprise one time. So be good at a lot of setups. Don't try and go back to one because it worked. Every single setup will work one time. All right, now here your, your teammates are saying throw it and you do something tragic. So when they were telling you to throw, they were saying to go for a ladder, right? You had an over and under. And to make that work, I like to stand on my toes, bring my hips in, arch my back and try to make my head touch my butt. Okay, it looks something kind of like this. I'm right here, right? I hit the over and under, and I go. I stand on my toes, I bring my hips in, and I'm like. Some important things to know about the lateral. Like you have to, when you decide to do it, you gotta plant your feet in the ground, right? You can't be taking any steps. You have to plant your feet in the ground, get on your toes, bring your hips in, and arch your back. You want your head to go straight behind you, but you want the person to go almost over your shoulder. You know what I mean? You want them to go, like you're trying to pull them down on one side, lift them on the other, and you're trying to make sure their feet get up out of the air so they have no control of their body. But what you did is you got out of this skilled throw and you tried to force a head throw, which is like a positionary move. You have to be in that position and the head throw has to be hit like this, okay? The fact that you like hit the head throw and you were stuck right here and you were pulling on it should tell you, like if you're in this position and you're pulling on a head throw, that should tell you that it's not gonna work. You're gonna get scored on, okay? So if, you, if the head throw doesn't go from standing like smoothly to his back, then give up on it and try to reset because this is what happened when you try to force it when you try to force him over It'll work on a bad kid, but on someone who's actually decent. They're gonna score on you and he puts a leg in right away All right What's happening right now is you're leaving a lot of space for his parts to get into you. You know what I mean? Your arms are fired in front of you, so he's getting a two-on-one. There's space between your butt, the mat, and like your ankles. You know what I mean? Personally, when I land on the mat, I'm trying to seal everything off. I don't want his arms getting underneath me. I want my butt almost on the mat. I want my knees and my ankles right here. All right, and my other one comes into the side to stop him from putting a leg in, okay? And I keep everything real tight, okay? Cause then, like, they can't lock around your head. They can't, like, the only thing that they can really do 
is like hold on to your hip and like grab an ankle or something. But like if you keep it tight, they won't be able to get a two on one. They might be able to grab wrists, but like that's it. They might be able to pull your wrist out and like get a two on one. Your objective is to not let their arm get in under here or their leg get in between your leg. All right, so you have to be conscious of that the second you start falling to the mat because then you get put in this kind of pickle where you open yourself up and they just start tying you up. They start controlling your whole body, right? You wanna maintain control of your whole body. There's a bunch of different types of way to get out of legs. You do something that's very good and that I've spoken about before. I don't know if you learned it from me. There's like a major flaw in your execution, okay? So look, he's cross-facing you, all right? You get control of that one arm. You get it on the other side, okay? And now, like you get the arm on the other side and what you need to do is you need to maintain control of the arm, like hold onto the arm and slide your head up into his armpit, okay? And what you're gonna do is your head is gonna be back here, your head's gonna be right here, and you're gonna put all your weight on your neck like you're bridging, okay? So your legs in between his legs, you're trying to sit out, you want your hips up into the sky, you're trying to put all your weight onto your neck and onto his shoulder. So you want his shoulder to touch the mat. All right, so what's gonna happen is you're gonna sit out, his arm's gonna be like this, his, um, his shoulder and face are gonna touch the mat, your foot is gonna turn like this, all right? And then you can bend your knee and pull it out, and then you sit out and spin around him. But it's very important that you do this like tight. This has to be like one fluid movement because the way he defends this is he just has to step in between your leg, all right? So like, just like defending a sit out, he defends this by stepping his leg in between your legs and pushing you over, getting his hips above your hips and pushing you down. Remember, when your hips are exposed, when they're open to like, when they're facing the ceiling, you are in trouble. You need to get out of there. So look, yeah, because you didn't use that shoulder as like a fulcrum, then you got like, he just followed you. Good job resisting with your legs. I know how much of a pain getting that leg out can be, but oh, that's the end of the period. There's a few ways you can get out of that. One way being you sit out, like you roll to your butt kind of, and you put your elbow in their thigh and you get your hands underneath their ankle. Like your hands underneath their shin and ankle. You sit down, like you scoot down, you keep your knee in their thigh, and you have to make sure that their hands aren't underneath your armpit. Because if their ha hands are underneath your armpit, then you won't be able to do this. All right, so you have to seal off, knee in the thigh, hands underneath the shin and ankle. You sit out, you create space with your hips, and then you spin into them. And then their legs are on like the tabletop position. And you put their leg onto your, your knee, you know what I mean, in tabletop. So if their hips are exposed, very good position. I used to let kids put legs in on me just so I could do that. Okay, so you defer, good choice. Okay, so again, this again, this would not have happened if if you were pressuring into him and not just trying to pull him down with your weight, right? What you're doing is kind of lazy. You're just trying to like sag him down like a sack of potatoes when you should be like a bull mauling like uh, a matador. You know what I mean? Like pushing you into the ground, hitting you with his horns and shit, like messing you up. Okay, that wouldn't have happened. You would have had that arm bar for sure if you were pressuring into him. You need to keep your feet in the mat and push into him. All right, and right here, you have full control. Like, you're in good position for this lift, right? So, you're right here, right? You're in good position for this lift. You just don't commit. You have to bring your hips in, straighten your back, lift, and put them on his back. The trick to picking someone up, really, is controlling their top side, getting your hips under there. So by having an arm in between their legs and having a claw, you have full control of their top side and you can just get your hips under theirs, keep your back straight, pick them up, and then set them on their back. You switch to a single leg, but you don't try any finishes. You know what I mean? You have control of it and you hold on to it, but you don't try for a navy. You don't try to run the pipe. You don't try to like build them up. You don't try to switch the grip. There's a bunch of things that you could have done, but you were spending too much time thinking. You need to know what you're gonna do before you do it. Off blood time. I hate it when they hold my fingers. Okay, so right here. The last thing that you do when someone's in on a shot is bring your knee to their head. You have to be thinking, get my knees, hips, and ankles as far away from this kid as possible, right? How you slid your knee straight up to his head. If you would have swam, if you would have been on that single leg, and just went like this, he would have had twice as much control of you, right? He's switching from a single leg to a double leg. That was good, you could have got that duck. I personally would have gotten claw, 
Like, it looked like you had that duck, but I would have gone claw. Instead of like trying to go two on one, you go to a single leg, or you go to a uh, high crotch. With that high crotch, you, you were in deep, you had control, you just needed to get off of your knees and put your feet on the mat, okay? That's not like a skill thing, that's just an effort thing. Like you just weren't trying hard enough. You have to be willing to get more tired. You know what I mean? If you, if you really wanna take this kid down, you have to be willing to get more exhausted. Okay, and right here, he has, like, he's got you in the front headlock, but all of your weight is off of your hips. So I personally would have been trying to stand up and push him out of bounds or reset, you know what I mean? Instead of just letting him hold onto my head and having my hips and my dick on the mat. You try to grab your roll. You don't get your leg away fast enough, but you get out. Okay. You need to always be wrestling. You need to be wrestling the whole time. Until the ref blows the whistle, you need to be wrestling. It looks like you're tired here, so I might suggest running or doing some sort of like explosive cardio to get yourself better. Right there, like when you're already almost behind him and he grabs your knee, you need to focus on getting that western hook. You're trying to like lock yourself behind his hip. All right, that's very important. You would have gotten that takedown if it wasn't for that. Look, you have your, you have his ankle, but you need to step behind his hip. You let him switch to a double leg. Uh, I can't see anything here. That's the end of the period or something. I don't have that. I think you like tapped him, so I'm not sure. You choose neutral again. Okay. Now you're in on that, you're on his knee, all right? Oh, you drive, okay, you drive. Okay. So you, you tried to like, you tried to work up his body before you stepped over. You know what I mean? Since he has your leg and he's on his butt, you wanna step over both of his legs. Because if not, then he has too much space to like get up and around you, you know what I mean? Like if you don't step over both of his legs, he's not like he has the ability to not be under you. You understand what I'm saying? So this is this is what happened. He was holding onto your ankle, right? Where if he was holding onto your ankle and he used that to pull you forward and then he stepped over your leg. Alright? And then right there it looked like you were tired or injured or something and like, you weren't fighting like crazy. Like me personally, I'd be sliding across the mat, like ah, ah. Ah. But it was a good match nonetheless. You definitely put in a lot of effort, you scored some points. You just need to fix those little things like when you do the duck. If you like that video and you like all my free content, then hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Check me out, but until next time, I'll see you guys. Peace.